Hey guys, I'm going to have a short video here. Um, as you know, I'm a huge fan of Bandbox. I've done a couple Bandbox openings before. And I hear they're ceasing operations with their boxes, so I don't know if they're going to um, like specialty items, if they're clearing warehouse, but I got something here. It was a couple bucks, and I want to see what's in here. Now, as you know, I had an incident last year. I'm getting better, but I had to open the box beforehand, but I can guarantee you I did not look at the contents beforehand. Okay, so I can guarantee you that. And again, Bandbox does not pay me for this. This is out of my own pocket for fun for you guys. All right, let's see here what we got. All right, so if anybody's a Last of Us fan, I got the little medallion here. Let's see who I can give that to, or if I keep it, or. All right. Now, there's some autographs in here I can tell. And I'm excited about that because remember the last one I did. Huh. Do you need a medical supply? That's funny. I think that's a magnet, it looks like. That's pretty cool, though. It's, it's, it's pretty heavy duty, so I like that. I, I love how Bandbox actually does like worthwhile heavy duty stuff but yeah that's, that's what I'm gonna miss alright um I'm gonna have to look and see what this is um I'll take it out of the package later I wanna I'm excited about to see what um, autograph I got huh the city of Derpy, Maine, the um, police badge. That's funny. That's pretty cool. I mean, I remember one time I got a uh, Judge Dredd one. And I think this was only like $27. So, I mean, it, it's definitely been worth it so far. Alright. That is cool. It's a fan art collection. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to get more 8x10 frames for this stuff. I got, um, I'll mention who I met after this is all done. That's really cool. Alright. Huh. That is nice. I like that. I know a couple people who would want to steal that one from me. Alright. Oh, that's funny. Jeff Daniel Phillips, any um, Rob Zombie fans out there? The Munsters, the Herman Munster from that. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's actually, that's worth the purchase anyway. So, uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I thought that was... I thought that was going to be Jack Black. I was all excited there for a minute. And then... There we go. That's pretty cool. But yeah, if there's any Animaniacs fans, you know what a fan of Animaniacs I am. I've got the game signed by Jess Harnell and um, Rob Paulson. I want to get uh, Tress McNeil's autograph on there too um, and Maurice LaMarche if I can he was in town but we were on vacation so we couldn't actually get there but um, I met uh, Paul Rugg the guy who did Mr. Clown on Animaniacs I think just Harnell did one episode where he voiced Mr. Clown but it was mostly Paul Rugg and I told him about how when Luke was little we used to sing the Mr. Clown song and he would laugh so he signed it nice and chubby baby and that was pretty funny so I just thought that was funny and he's a really nice guy he told me to you know just find a 
closet or something and do some voice acting and practice, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, who tells a 40-year-old person, or when um, when Rob Paulson did it, who tells a 32-year-old to follow your dreams? And it's pretty cool. And I told him about Eric's voice acting, which it, if anybody hasn't heard it, it's, it, check it out. He'll appreciate it. I appreciate um, I appreciate you supporting him with that too. So I just want to let you know that he does that if you didn't know. But yeah, we definitely want to find more things to do. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and drop it. I know that was a quick little one. I might have a little goofy thing to do later on. But other than that, see ya!